Good morning. Welcome here to Morning Devotions on this Monday. No, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, January the 15th. I'm glad you're here with me as we open God's Word together. Always good to be encouraged. And as the week drags on, even though it's uh, warming up and getting uh, nicer to be outside, perhaps you feel like your week is dragging on or you're uh, loaded with with some sort of extra burden or care or concern or worry. It's always good to come before God to hear from him, to be reassured by his very presence, his very grace in your life. And so we will open the word today. We hear from two different passages as we share these daily texts, and then I'll think on them for just a, a minute or two. And as I do that, uh, I, I, I always like to remind us that this hopefully isn't just a, we'll listen to some guy talk, that the invitation is always when we hear God's word for us to be considering what it is that, that the, the spirit of, of the living word of, of Jesus himself is speaking to us through this word. For we know we believe that the word is active and alive. I encourage you to share that uh, in the comments or share that with someone uh, today as you hear, as you are stirred, as you are inspired by Jesus himself speaking to you this morning. So these two watch words for today are daily texts. The first one comes from Hosea chapter 11, verse 3. God speaking through the prophet writes, I, it was I who taught Ephraim to walk. I took them up in my arms, but they did not know that I healed them. And then from John 14, 18, Jesus says, I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. I've had a, a lot of conversations recently with people who have commented, remarked on the fact that God is doing something in their lives, and they weren't really even aware of it until maybe later on in the process. Uh, just little things that we sometimes might chalk up to coincidence or, or something like that. I've had a lot of people remark that, well, this is actually God at work. I see God shaping things in my life or, or bringing people into my life or having this situation happen. And... Uh, you know, starting to connect the dots and, and put the pieces of the puzzle together. That's what I was reminded of as, as I was reading that Hosea passage there, uh, how God was at work in the life of his people, uh, Israel there, but they didn't see him. They didn't recognize him. They didn't realize what it was that he was doing for them. And I wonder how often we fall prey to that. How often we are quick to say something is just coincidence or or just chance or fate or karma or whatever else we might ascribe to it. And forget that we actually have a God who is in control of all things, in control of, of nature, in control of our lives, in control of uh, even the one who would oppose us the most, his enemy, Satan. We have a strong, we have a powerful God who is not just hands off. He doesn't just leave us to our own devices, but he is present and he is working for your good and his good in your life and in the world. We often, I think, struggle to see that. But I encourage you just to sit and reflect today, uh, even, even just in everyday ordinary things that you do, how it is that God is at work, that he's orchestrating, as, as one, one person says, how he's orchestrating all things together, knitting things together, for truly he is. He is good. He's working good in your life. And I, I think, I, I, I think, and I, I firmly believe that we just need to open our eyes sometimes that's why I often pray that we would have open eyes and, and open ears, open hearts to what God is doing. And so that is a good prayer to pray. So why don't we simply pray that today? I invite you to, to quiet yourself. 
Lord Jesus, you have given us your Holy Spirit to be your presence in our lives and in this world. We know that it is the Holy Spirit who calls us to faith in you, who encourages us, who strengthens us, who calls us together as your people. I pray now that your spirit would be opening our eyes, unstopping our ears, softening our hearts to see, to hear, to receive, and to believe that you are at work in our lives and in this world and not working chaos or destruction or uh, hurt or, or anything else like that, but that you indeed are working for your good and for our good. Help us to trust you more fully today, Lord Jesus. And may our eyes be open to see you at work. All this we pray trusting and believing in, in you who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So I pray God's blessing on your day and I do pray that you would be walking and, and going about your day with eyes wide open to see what God is doing in your life, even in the small things that we take for granted so often. What is God up to? What is God doing in your life? How is he ordering? How is he building? How is he shaping, encouraging, blessing you and giving you life? So I pray that God's blessing would rest on you as you go. And uh, may you as well be a blessing to all those that you meet. It is Wednesday. So this is the end of our time together in morning devotions this week. But I encourage you to join us as always for the weekend. Uh, Bible study, Sunday school uh, for all ages, 945 worship at 11. We'd love to see you in person. It's going to be a little bit warmer. So hopefully that makes it a little easier to get out and about. Uh, love to see you in person or if you can't make it on, online as well at 11. And just a reminder, I know we've had one potluck already this month, but it is the third Sunday. So we're going to have another potluck lunch following worship this Sunday. Uh, we love to be together. We love eating together. Uh, spending time with one another. So I hope to see you this weekend, if not before. Blessings on your day. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes this morning. Have a great rest of your week.